three by one, all right? Three by one now, okay? So everybody talks about three by one, you want to know how to play quarters and all that stuff. Well, our answer, one of our first answers is stubby. So all stubby is saying is this, we're going to man up. The corner's going to play Meg, has him everywhere he goes, right? Obviously to the trip side. Now, corner, I'm just giving you a, a star here, your apex defender, right? He, with the safety, is going to read three to two, right? So basically saying, if three is vertical, right, if three is vertical, safety has him, star has two, right? If three eliminates himself inside, star has two, he reads three to two, safety reads three to two, right? If he goes out, three goes out, star will keep leverage on the guy that goes out, the flat defender now, and now safety is going to own number two. Y'all got me on that. And then obviously, too, the mic now is going to be the post defense. I mean, he's posting three. That's all he's doing. He's posting three. So that's stubby. All right, so as you guys see it here, we read it. All right, so three and two are both vertical, so star owns two. All right, you see the post here by the mic to help out the safety, and now safety owns three. Corners mag up uh, down bottom here. All right. So you see here again. All right, so now. The same thing we talked about now, so I hope it makes sense now when we said in bracket, when we got a fast three, it turns into stubby, basically. This is the same route. So basically, you get a flat defender, he's going to hold it with leverage. All right, safety now is going to own two, right? And that's one of the reasons, too, we want to hold it with leverage, to be able to respond when they try to high-low this flat defender here now, right, and not undress this safety here, right? So anytime that happens, he's holding it with width, right, be able to play one with two routes, okay? Now... Safety now has all of the new number two, and now he's posting the new number three. All right, corner down here is man up, playing Meg uh, down bottom. Coach, question. There's four, you start out, you let the guy, no matter it's not a yardage type deal, you let the guy get the ball, you know what? No. We say early in the down, early in the down. So anything under five, anything under five, you're gone. So now you get offensive guys, we'll talk about stump here in a little bit, but you get offensive guys that know that. This is basically what everybody talk about. I hear people say palm, play read, and all that shit, that stuff, all right? So now, you guys know this. If it's about seven, which offensive guys try to do, they try to take it to seven yards and get in that gray area, we got a different call for that that will help that out, all right, to take it off the kids, okay? All right. So now you guys will see it here again. All right, so kind of here, early in the down, he's out. All right, holds leverage on it. He's the post defender. He's ready to nail down. Obviously, the corners up top is playing mad. Hey, Coach, running back to start. Okay, you got number three right here. He releases underneath your back and then starts to climb. He shallow crosses. He releases, anytime he releases underneath the backers, camp rules. Not saying, we, we don't even know what he's doing backside. I'm talking about number four. That backer has to take him back. Especially if he's under the backers. And then starts to climb. He has to take him back. He's not going to worry about He has to take him back because anything, we say early in the down, he's eliminating himself, anything under the backers. So we say five yards. Or the other thing you could say is underneath the second level defenders. Or the other thing you could say is underneath the backers. Once he goes underneath the backers, he's, there. he's theirs. Right? So I know what you're talking about. We call it 95, the dirty, the dirty over. The dirty over. Now, think about this, too. And this is kind of playing into what we're talking about backside here now. But if we're playing cone, we say cone is basically three on two, right? So now that safety is going to release, I mean, read the release of one. You follow me on that? If he releases outside, which you usually get, because if they're running over, they're not going to run him inside to run whatever. He runs outside of him. He now runs, uh, looks back front side. So worst case scenario, the back is one-on-one -on -one with that guy. But we know that. We can't stop everything in every call. We're not going to try to stop everything in every call. All right? So I, I hope that answered it right there. No, no. Once he's underneath that back, he's done. And, that, and that's the whole thing, too, is I think offenses want to create gray. Like we just talked about with the whole, I'm, I'm playing palms, I'm playing read two, and they're taking them up to seven yards. And anytime you got more than one guy that has to be on the same page, the more likely you are to have a mistake. Or somebody coming back to the sideline and said, Coach, I thought. Well, you want to eliminate the thought, if that makes sense. All right. Okay. So now we get what we call Buffalo. So same thing here. He's posting it, and it's kind of, kind of similar to what you're talking about, but not the dirty over. But he knows this. Anything underneath him, he has to take it back. Anything underneath him, he has to take it back. Okay? 
and we're nailing down up top. All right, so same. So now we get a 3-4 push. So anytime we get a 3-4 push, so now that hook defender now, that guy who's posting three now, now he has to take the new number three, and now he's going to push to post the new number four, basically, essentially. Okay? And same thing, it doesn't change anybody up top. All right, nobody up top. Okay, all right. Correct. He's posting them. He's not going to take them. He's going to post them. Okay. But anything underneath them, he has to take them back. Okay. All right. All right. So now stump is what we're talking about now. So now stump, all right, easiest way for me to describe it to you guys is this. Stump doesn't affect the front side backer, right, this mic, that hook three defender, right, and this safety. Everything's the same for them. The only two people it affects is the corner and the star. The corner now lines up off and inside and is playing his quarter from off and inside. Anything that happens where he eliminates himself early in the down, he zones off his quarter. This piece right here now, he's reading three to two still. Any of these two guys to the flat or eliminate themselves from being a vertical threat, he now becomes the curl flat defender. He's a flat defender now, all right? If he hears an under call from outside of him, he becomes an under defender. So the only way he takes two vertical is if all three of those guys go vertical. How do you know how that shit's happening? Well, I'm reading three to two. If one of those two guys, three is vertical, I'm looking to two. Two is vertical. I'm taking them until I hear an undercall. All right, so we say, how the hell is he going to hear an undercall? Well, shit, if something flashes across my face from outside in, I zone off. As long as all three of those guys are not vertical, he's a flat defender. So now it helps out now when you're getting all that little gray stuff where that guy's eliminating himself seven yards uh, in that gray area now. He's a, zone, he's a zone defender now, knowing that he has a corner behind him, okay? And you'll see it here. So now, that's the gray. Boom, he hears the undercall. He expands, right? Safety now knows. He's reading three to two, right? Knowing that he has a corner that's zoned off in this quarter. Okay. You see here again with the stump. So now, he's reading three. So all three of them are not vertical. He becomes a flat defender, right? Corner's playing his quarter from off. Now, he reads three to two as well. So the only person stump affects, the only two people it affects is the star, right, in the corner, bottom line, okay? You'll see it here. Same thing. Doesn't affect these two. He knows he has to take three back. If that was to become that choice route, he's nailing down. He's a flat defender, as you see, all right? And he should be working to get in the curl window, okay? Are you getting a split choice? Tight to route, 